Good day, my friends. I want you to know today that Jesus fully and eternally loves you. And not only that, that Jesus fully understands you because Jesus was fully human. And it went through the whole range of human experiences and emotions. I want to read an account from Luke chapter 2 today, beginning at verse 41, that helps me to understand the humanity of Jesus, that Jesus was fully human. It's the only account we have in the Bible of Jesus as a child, as a person growing up. He's 12 years old. And as I read this account, I encourage you to ask yourself, what do you learn about who Jesus is from this passage? And maybe even some questions about who Jesus is as you hear it read. Begin at verse 41. Every year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went up to the festival according to the custom. After the festival was over, while his parents were returning home, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but they were unaware of it. Thinking he was in their company, they traveled on for a day. Then they began looking for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they went back to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple courts, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Everyone who heard Jesus was amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. His mother said to him, son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Why were you searching for me? Jesus asked. Did you not know that I had to be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he was saying to them. Then Jesus went down to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them. But his mother treasured all these things in her heart. And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Now, there's a lot to this story that we could unpack that we don't have time to do. But I want you to imagine for a moment the experience of Joseph and Mary here. They were frantic, out of their minds with worry and concern. Surely, after three days, they began to wonder whether they had lost their son, but not just lost their son, as traumatic as that would be, but they had lost the Messiah, the Savior of the world that God had put them in charge of. You can imagine their distress out of their minds. And when they find him and they express their distress, his response to them initially seems a little bit lippy, you know, like a snot-nosed adolescent kid who's kind of being disobedient. Now, we know that Jesus is without sin, but this account helps us to understand that Jesus was fully human. Yes, he's fully God, but he's fully human. And we get a picture of this in his response to his parents. And what's important for us to understand is that that helps us to know that Jesus fully understands us. He can relate to everything we experience as human beings because he was fully human. And not only that, it says at the end that Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and people. Jesus grew. One translation says he increased. In other words, Jesus didn't come out of the womb fully understanding who he was and what his mission was. That as soon as he began to talk, he, he wasn't going around saying, oh, by the way, I'm the son of God, the savior of the world. That he grew in his understanding of who he was and what his mission was. And that's important for us as human beings, that we can understand ourselves that we have room to grow yet, that we're not fully developed or fully mature spiritually, that no matter what age we're at, 
There's more for us to learn. There's changes for us still to undertake in our understanding and in our behavior. Let this account of Jesus help you to better understand fully who Jesus is and that he can fully understand what you're going through and that there's still room for each of us to grow into spiritual maturity. Let that be an encouragement today. Seek to grow today in the ways that God would have you grow. Take care.